Witch of Whitetail Hollow. I want to warmly welcome you to my channel and I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. I wanted to uh, share a little bit of probably idle chit chat so you're just going to have to forgive me. Uh, I wanted to share with you a friendship spell. This is, I think, especially now with everything that's going on, uh, a lot of people unable to uh, maybe get together for lunch or shopping trip or, you know, just sitting around watching television or whatever, whatever it is that you do or did in your friendship, uh, we're not able to enjoy it right now. This is also kind of a spell in anticipation of friendships that you're missing out on. And uh, so there you go. But what I've gathered together here are some very lovely pink roses. And I can't think of anything sweeter than a pink rose for friendship. Of course, that's romance as well. But um, I did not, I absolutely did not go out shopping for this at all. There's actually, a, right across the street from me, there is a home that is no, abandoned, no longer being lived in. I believe the lady, the elderly lady that lived there many years ago is no longer with us. And her son, I mean, he, he keeps the yard mode and, and all of that, but he just can't give up mom's house. So there it sits. And obviously she loved her flowers because she had a lot of these rose bushes and these aren't the traditional beautiful roses that you would see out in the florist. These are the old fashioned roses and they smell amazing. They smell like you anticipate a rose is going to smell. And I mean, there's, there's bulbs coming up now. She has hydrangeas in the yard. And I, I admit it, I admit it. Yesterday I slipped over and cut some roses because, you know, even though she's no longer with us in a way, she's still giving to the entire community. And I thought, well, I didn't really think anyone would mind, you know, I mean, the rose bush is huge. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. And it's still giving right back. So it doesn't matter if you have pink rose, a white rose, a daisy. Honestly, for all I care, you can go and find a yellow dandelion flower. If that's what you've got, that's what you've got. Because right now, times, you, we just can't go, oh, I'm going to go run down to the floor shop and I'm going to get X, Y, and Z. And... You know, but I've I've got some roses here in honor of friendships that, you know, have fallen by the wayside ha or that haven't developed yet. And I do anoint with my love oil. If you want to anoint a candle with your with love oil, you don't have to. A little bit of rose oil is wonderful, but mine is a rose of combination and many many other things and protection of course and if uh, you know you know you find your your friendship kind of going by the wayside maybe you had a little bit of an argument or something what I've got here in a container is a little bit of is sitting in a little bit of better rosemary and we all know rosemary is a very healing thing if you don't have rose oil use rosemary whatever you have but I've actually already got my friendship candle happening here and I will absolutely now th the timing of the day really isn't important if you want to do it in the morning when you get up when you have your coffee your tea or what have you and before you start your day go into a little bit of meditation and think about your friend think about the times that you might have had or have had in the past and that you're kind of, you know, not necessarily missing out on because I want you to concentrate on the good times that you've shared, the things that you've done together, the memories that, that you've built. And if you haven't built any, well, just think about, you know, 
what it's going to be like in the future. Um, and, you know, at some point, uh, if you think you're missing out on a friendship, like, you know, darn, this is keeping us apart or, you know, whatever, then, you know, you might have had emails that you exchanged or text or something like that. And which case, that's what you have to hold on to. But whatever memory it is you have, positive memory it is that you have, just keep it in your brain. You can either anoint, engrave, whatever suits your fancy. You can do this in the evening before going to bedtime, but go into meditation. Think about the person. And again, think about the good times. And with your candle, I'm going to set this one aside. I've already worked on this one. But, um, and you don't have to use my wording. Just use whatever kind of wording that comes to you. But life, oh my goodness, life is really difficult at the moment. But know that this is not forever. We have had many times together and so many more to come. Please remember that I am with you in our hearts and in our minds forever. And just, you know, if, if you have concert tickets, if you have theater tickets, if you have an email that you want to print up and put with your flowers and your candle, you certainly can. But do absolutely, this has to be done every single day. And again, you could make it part of lunch. You could make it a part of a nice, quiet lunch if you're sitting at home by yourself and you have time to go in a little bit of meditation and say whatever it is that you want to say. You know, gosh, Susie or Jane or whoever, I really miss shopping with you. I think of you all the time. And I know at some point in time in the future, we're going to get back together and things are going to be great. Maybe even better. I hope you guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. A merry part, and I absolutely so hope to marry me again. Goodbye, guys.